Hey YouTube, what is up? Quarterman here, and I know we're kind of like in between sets of uh, Kamigawa, and then spoilers are starting to come out from the next set. So I thought I would just pick up a few random packs today, do like a little mixed pack opening, I guess. Hold us over till the new set comes out. Um, so yeah, I went to my LGS, got a wide variety of things. So we will get to Kraken, and I believe, I mean, you probably will find out as I start opening them. But I believe I'm actually going to do pricing in this video because I typically avoid that with some of the newer sets only because prices fluctuate so much. So we'll go in this order. We'll leave lottery cards for the back, masters right before them. I'm going to start with some of the conspiracy stuff and the mystery convention edition only because these three packs, I'm not really certain uh, pricing. So... Again, I'm going to do it post-production, you know, all my fancy editing. All right, someone told me in the comments to put my thumbs there and pull apart or go like this. All right, I don't know. I'm still doing it wrong, I guess. I tried. Someone left a comment, said that's a good way to open them. Thought I'd give it a shot. I might be doing it wrong, but here we go. Mystery booster pack. I did love this set, so I thought it was really unique. I lied. This is the <laughs> conspiracy. I see the rapper sitting next to me laughing at me that I was wrong. Uncommons. I know this was mostly meant for drafting. So again, here we go. Gruel Draz Spectre. It's plus three, plus three, as long as an opponent has no cards in hand. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, player discards card. It's actually not a horrible card. Don't know the value, but it'll probably pop up right about here. Cool. Awesome. Or not awesome. I don't know yet. And then the uh, incendiary dissent with a spirit token. Cool. All right, next conspiracy pack. Got it right this time. Then we're going to go to the mystery booster. Um, that being said, I actually did like the, the mystery booster set. I thought it was kind of fun. Brainstorm, good common. Yeah, this was cool concept behind this, but I, I feel like Jumpstart did so much better uh, with a similar concept. Obviously, it is different, but... Um, I think Jumpstart just hit it out of the park. Can't wait for them to do... Oh, there we go. We got a Mythic. Mirari's Wake. I know this is a good card. I don't know that it's still holding value. Um, it'll be here, blah, blah, blah. But that's uh, exciting to get. And Sentinel Dispatch. So we got a Mythic. Happy with that. Put Mythics here. Rares there. Uncommons there. Even though this set, I already mixed in the three Uncommons. This was help me organizing after the video. And off to the mystery booster pack. Let's get something good in here. So this is the convention edition. Um, I don't believe I got any boxes of the convention edition. Because I think this is where you can get those test cards. Um, those kind of fluctuate in value. I know some of them are crazy priced at first. Got an uncommon there. I forgot this goes like by color, not by rarity. Until you get to the end. Commons, ooh, Timber Battle, the greens, come on, something good for our rare, oh, a multicolored, and now we're to the uncommons, <laughs> all the senses, oh, asceticism, I will gladly take that, again, don't know the value of this off the top of my head, but I do know it's a playable card, I run this in my commander decks, um, I think other people probably do too, so, might be worth, oh, and a Colgan's Command, it's actually another decent hit. Cool. So this pack might have been okay. And then Generated Horizons. Forest for the trees. PNG. I like this. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a forest land token. Man, I wish this was a real card. For four, every upkeep, you get a forest token. That's pretty good. So we'll leave that off to the side in a separate pile, I guess. That's uh, the only one of its kind, so I'm just going to leave it there. Cool. All right, then some random fillers. We've got some Ravnica on Throne. Throne has some good possibilities. Actually, Ravnica, I believe this is where Smothering Tithe is, so maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. Pull something like that. I've yet to pull one of those on my own, so here we go. Here's my opportunity. You guys are here to witness it. If you hit, hit that like button, I guarantee you it increases the percent by like at least five percent boom oh tithe taker it was a white card with tithe i was like yeah we got it someone hit the like buttons and sweet nope just kidding during your turn spells your opponent's cost cast one more 
That's not bad. Good for those taxi decks. And a guild gate. Boo. Put that in the comments pile with a cool spirit token. Actually, it does look really cool. I like the art on that. All right, throne. We're looking for the Great Henge. Probably get a, another great card, but whoa, 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 don't cheat. Which way? What am I doing? I'm being crazy. There's our forest. Oh, these are backwards. Okay. I'm just, don't know what I'm doing anymore. Stolen by the Fae. There you go. There's our rare. Drown and lock. Pretty good uncommon. And no. Oh, I like that art. I like the purples and the blacks. It's pretty cool. No foil. No gray henge. Nothing crazy. Go through these comments real fast. All right. Here we go. Um, running six, maybe? What else is in here? You have Urza from the first one. And then you have... Um, what is that? Force Negation? I think that's another one of the good pulls. Oh, yeah. These have the fancy art cards. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, they do. Art cards. Hey, Seb McKenna. I actually have that playmat. Um... I wish I had it for this video. Snow-covered island. Love the snowlands. Full art snows. And Genesis. All right. That's a pretty good card to hit. Um, value's going to be right here. Blah, blah, blah. But that's really cool. Um, again, I know this is all I ever talk about. But in Commander, good way for creature recursion in mono green. Obviously, you can run it with not just mono green. Anything with green, I guess. But it does help green get some of those creatures back. And here are our commons. Excellent. Commander Legends. Um, there's some good cards in this. You have the, uh, obviously the Jeweled Lotus, but I'm trying to think of like some of the other. Well, you have the Land Cycle in here, which is pretty good. I think the Land Cycle in here was awesome, actually. Similar to the Battle Bond ones, but the opposite colors. Not quite as pricey, but... That's because this set saw a much larger print than Battle Bond did, so. Uncommons. And our rare Court of Grace. Alright, nothing nothing crazy, but this is more than Monarch stuff. I do enjoy playing with the Monarch ability. It's kind of cool. And we have a Cat Soldier. Uncommon. There we go. Really cool art on that. That's a golem with some badass looking art. And our foil is a sanitarium skeleton. Cool. All right. Again, nothing fancy. But now we're moving to some of the masters. We've got two masters packs. We got iconic and eternal. Hopefully, one of these two will have something decent. We've only hit one mythic so far. Not that I was expecting to hit a lot. But maybe in one of these masters packs, we can pull one of the the good mythics. And I know, the rarity doesn't really count. It's more or less just if you got good value or not. All right. And we got a Amiria Angel. The Landfall one. Creates a bunch of birds. Pretty cool with a Foil Undercity Troll. Eh, nothing crazy in this pack. Cool beast token. He's all enraged. Put this up with the foil. Next master pack. Maybe I should have saved the masters for last. I just think that because these two have a possibility of... Actually, Fate Reforged doesn't have any masterpieces. That's more the uh, fetch lands you can get in that, I believe. So I might have been wrong doing it the way I did it, but whatever. Duress. hate that card. Stupid discard. It's the budget thought sees. All right, there's our commons. Ooh, the Honden. Shrines are making a comeback. So I think that actually all of these, including these ones, might have gone up a couple bucks. So that's pretty cool. Not a bad hit, I guess. Oh, don't cheat. I think we already spoiled it. There we go. Jareth. Look at that handsome kitty. Not, a, not something you really want to see in the rare slot, but you know what? Nothing you can do about it. All right, let's go with the Fate Reforged. Let's change my mind on the order of those last two. Because fetch lands would be awesome, but I do think that a uh, lottery card, even though your chances, I think, are like, what, one in six boxes in 36 packs a box, you know, math. So my odds are not very high on that. Uncommons. 
And, oh, we did get our second mythic though. That's pretty cool. Warden of the First Tree. Interesting color combination. It's got the, the white black down there and green. Although it's not legendary, but whatever. Nice. And, oh, I got so excited for like half of a second. I know that the uh, Bloodfell Caves isn't the name of the fetch for Rakdos, but I still kind of got excited. And there's a cool manifest token. A lot of text on that. All right, here's our last chance for something crazy. But any of you that have been following this channel know I don't pull anything crazy. I don't have that kind of luck. Before we get to it, hey, thank you guys for watching this far. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. Got new boxes coming out every set. I try to do some filler stuff in between, including some gameplay videos coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. And our last rare, ooh, Walking Ballista. That's good for a rare hit in this. Um, that card, very playable. Obviously, it's colorless. It was broken for a while. He's part of like Heliod combos and stuff like that. But just even without the combo, I think it has lots of playability. And we got a... Oh, there's the planes we wanted. Okay. Oh, tops are token. Ending on a strong note. Thank you guys so much for uh, checking this video out. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day and rest of your weekend or whatever day of the week it is for you watching this. So, see ya.